Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Point. So after a long time, I am back with another video. Sorry for the delay, but from now videos will be uploaded continuously. And in today's video, we will talk about gate level modeling. So talking about the gate primitives, in Verilog, there are some predefined inbuilt gate primitives and this gate level modeling is the lowest level of abstraction. All logic circuits can be designed by using logic gates. So there are two different types of gates. In basic gates, there are and or gates and buff not gates. So one by one we will discuss. Okay. So starting from basic gates. In and or gates, one scalar output and multiple scalar inputs are there. Output of the gate is evaluated as soon as one of the input changes. The AND OR gates available in Verilog are AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR and XNOR gate. So here you can see the symbols of these gates. Different gates have different symbols. And talking about the truth table, four different values 0, 1, X and Z. And according to the gate, you are getting the output. Since these are very uh, basic gates and generally we are using these gates. So I hope these truth tables are clear to you. First of all, you have to write the primitive name, then instance name and then output and input ports. So some examples I have written here AND gate, NAND and OR. So first one is AND gate, inputs are A and B and output is out. So here you can see the syntax AND and then instance name which is G1 here and then output out comma A comma B. Similarly for NAND gate you can write NAND G2 and then out comma A comma B. So in this manner you can write the syntax. In this example here you can see how we can write the Verilog code in gate level modeling. So in this figure you can see AND gate and XOR gates are there. So for this circuit how should we write the Verilog code? Module and then module name. Then we have to specify all the input output ports. Then all the input ports, all the output ports and then for AND gate, we have to write AND and then instance name which is AND gate here and then output O1, comma, I1, comma, I2. Similarly, for XOR gate, it is XOR, then XOR gate, O2, comma, I3, comma, I4 and then end module. So in this manner, we can write the Verilog code in gate level modeling. Another example is also here. So you can see without giving the instance name, also we can write this circuit you can see OR gate is there then AND plus NOT so NAND gate is there OR plus NOT which is NOR gate and XOR plus NOT which is XNOR gate. For that simply we have to write OR and then output and input ports. You can skip the instance name part. Now we have to study about the buff NOT gates which is the second category of basic gates. It's one scalar input and one or more scalar outputs are there. Buffer and NOT gate. You can see the symbol. Only a difference is the bubble. In NOT gate we have bubble. In buffer gate there is no bubble. Truth tables are there. In it the inverted output we will get. So here also I have considered four different values 0, 1, x and z. In case of buffer when input is 0, output is 0. When input is 1, output is 1. When input is unknown, then output is also unknown. And in case of high impedance, the output is unknown. Similarly, in case of NOT gate, when input is 0, then output is 1. When input is 1, then output is 0. For unknown, the output is also unknown. And for high impedance, the output is unknown. Now, in this example, you can see how we can write the Verilog code for buffer and NOT gates. Simply, you have to write the gate name which is buff and then the instance name and then output and inputs. Similarly, for NOT gate also, NOT and then the instance name and then output and input. So, in this manner, we can write the Verilog code for buff NOT gates. Now, we have to start the buff if NOT if gates. So, these gates have an additional control signal 
actually they propagate if the control signal is given otherwise the output will be in high impedance state four different types of buff if not if gates are there buff if 1 buff if 0 not if 1 and not if 0 so buff if 1 means buffer with active high control signal and buff if 0 means buffer with active low control signal so this buff if 1 or buff if 0 is nothing but buffer gate only with an additional control signal and this control signal can be active high or active low similarly in case of not if 1 it is a not gate with active high control signal and not if 0 is a not gate with active low control signal here you can see the truth table for buff if 1 buff if 0 and not if 1 not if 0 I hope this is clear to you and now in this example you can see how can we write the verilog code for this circuit the first gate is a uh, not gate with active high control signal so this buff if 1 third one is buff if 0 and the last one is not if 0 so very simple code is there first of all the gate is buff if 1 and then buff gate 1 which is the instance name you can give any name here and then output and input ports so similarly for not if 1 not if 0 and buff if 0 you can write the verilog code i hope the two categories buff if not if and basic gates are now clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask now we have to talk about the gate delays so in verilog we can introduce gate delays in the logic circuit so three different types of delays are there rise delay fall delay and turn off delay so starting from rise delay so in rise delay the gate output transits from 0 x or z to 1 mean to say whenever there is a transition from 0 x or z to 1 then this is called the rise delay actually the time duration required for that transition is called the rise delay similarly in case of fall delay the transition is from 1 x or z to 0 so that duration is called the fall delay now in case of turn off delay whenever there is a transition in gate output to high impedance value from any other logic value mean to say from any other logic value that is 0 1 and x there is a transition to z value that delay is called the turn off delay one more thing guys if the gate output transition is to a don't care value then the minimum of the three delay will be considered for example if rise delay fall delay and turn off delay all these three values are given and the transition is to a don't care value so in that condition we have to consider the minimum delay value here you can see the syntax if a single delay value is given then you have to consider that in your verilog code if rise delay and fall delay separate value is given then you have to write both the values and if rise delay fall delay and turn off delay all the values are given then you have to consider all these value while writing the verilog code one more thing if in the question no delay value is given then by default you have to consider as a ideal circuit you can say or as a ideal gate you have to consider but if delay value to consider that value while writing the code so in case of single delay value first of all you have to write the uh, gate name then hash delay value and then instance name and then output and input ports similarly if rise delay and fall delay both are given then you have to write gate name then hash rise value comma fall value then instance name and then all the values rise value fall value and turn off values are given then you have to write the gate name hash and in pair comma turn off value then instance name and then output and input ports so i hope this syntax is clear to you you can also understand this by this example so here and gate and or gates are there and gate has a five time unit delay and or gate has a four time unit delay so in this very log code you can see i have written and then hash 5 
and then instance name output and input similarly for or gate it is or then hash for instance name and then output and input so in this manner you can insert the delay value while writing the Verilog code now we will consider some more example and as we all know in case of half subtractor two inputs are there and two outputs borrow and difference are there so difference is nothing but a xor b if a and b are inputs and borrow is a bar b so here in this very law code you can see first of all i have written module then module name and then borrow difference a comma b then you have to specify input and output ports then i have taken wire w1 actually this wire w1 i have taken to perform the negation of input a so here you can see xor then the instance name x1 and then difference comma a comma b this is for the xor gate then for not gate i have written not n1 and then w1 comma of a and then we will send that negated value from the borrow operation so for and gate here the code is and then instance name and then borrow comma w1 comma b end module so this is the very low code for half subtractor circuit one more example here in this circuit and or xor gates are there so you can see how can we write the Verilog code for this. You have to start from module. So module, then module name, output and input ports. Then you have to specify all the input and output ports. Here I have taken three wires, W1, W2 and W3. And then AND gate, instance name is A1. For XOR gate, instance name is X1. And OR gate and AND gate. So these are very simple example and I hope today's video is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment box. Next video will be on data flow modeling and after that we will study about the behavioral modeling. So one by one, we will cover very long topics and I hope videos are clear to you. If you have any suggestion or any feedback, you can tell me in the comment section. Now I will try to upload the videos continuously so that you can continue your very long course. I'll come with data flow modeling. Till then, goodbye, take care.